Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another how-to video. Quick video, you updated your VLC, you're using the latest stable version 3.0. whatever. Uh, you got a prompt to update the VLC to the latest one, which is 3.0.12, and suddenly YouTube videos won't play there. Uh, usually they should when you go to VLC and you go here and open media or network stream. If you paste here a YouTube URL, it's supposed to just play it. Hello everyone, but after this update, it stopped doing that for unknown reasons. Maybe YouTube updated some stuff. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna, gonna say what, but this is how you fix it. I looked it up on the internet and this is what they suggest you to do. And as you see, it is working because it's working right now. So you close VLC, so it's no longer playing. Uh, you go to the source repository of the, of the, of VLC, which is on GitHub. Uh, you can see github.com slash video land slash VLC. Uh, if you go to here and you can browse through the master all the way to this link here, which is uh, blob master share Lua playlist youtube.lua, you will find the script for uh, Lua that handles uh, streaming from YouTube stuff. And the thing is, on the nightly version, which is the developer version, quick parenthesis to explain what nightly versions are, um, you usually do a stable version, which is, you know that it's working fine, and you release that, and that's what people use, and then you start working on the next version, and you know that when you did a few changes, some things will break, and you need people to test it properly before it's globally distributed. So that version is called the nightly version, because it compiles every night. It's as recent as the latest night that it was compiled on. Uh, at the end of the day, you have a new version. That's the, the premise behind the nightly version. So they fixed this issue with the Lua player on the nightly version, but it wasn't fixed on the previous 3.0.12 version, which is the one that everyone has. So if you want to get the fix, you go to this address here, uh, and you have to copy this Lua and put it on your VLC. Uh, there's this button here called RAW, where you see the raw version of the thing. Shows you here. You copy everything. Control A, Control C to copy this. You select everything. You copy it. Then you create a new uh, Notepad file. Just go to Notepad. I use Notepad++, but normal Notepad also works. You do a new. I'm going to show it here so you guys can see. Paste it here. You save this. Save as whatever you want to call it. Well, not whatever you want to call it. It needs to be called um, uh, YouTube.Lua. It's on downloads. I already have a YouTube.Lua, but I'm going to do this again. So you guys see, you want to replace it? Yes. Uh, it was already open. That's why it didn't let me save. But here it is. So YouTube.Lua. And now what you want to do with this file. This file, I'm going to close this because I don't need it anymore. Uh, you want to go to your downloads and you have the file here you copy this and you're going to go for the version of uh, vlc that you have and if you have 64 bits it's placed on a different uh, location than the 32 bits you can do it on both and i'm going to show you the path to do it on both but uh, be aware of that so uh, usually uh, 32 bits are installed on the x86 uh, directory and 64 bits are installed on the program files directory so if you go here you search for video lan vlc lua playlist and you paste it here you already have it here you can notice the date difference youtube.lua and you're done. Usually there's a YouTube.lua C here. You can delete that one. Uh, Lua C, I believe, stands for compiled version of Lua. Not entirely sure, but there are there are minor differences, but it doesn't matter. As long as you put YouTube.lua, VLC will recognize it just the same as if it had a YouTube.lua C. That's the important thing. So uh, once I pasted this, uh, I'm also going to do the same for uh, the 64 ver bits version. So go to Program Files, Video LAN, VLC, uh, Lua. All of these uh, links are on the description of the video. Paste here, same thing, YouTube.Lua, delete the, the old YouTube.Lua C or, you know, rename it to something else if you are afraid that you might be screwing something up. And then next time you open VLC, 
it will automatically look for uh, the that Lua script file when it tries to open a YouTube file, a YouTube link. So you can just go to Open Network Stream. I already have one here, so I'm going to try to play this one. And it works. Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Which is great. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show, how to fix this little thing. I'm going to post all these links on the description. Uh, see you next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.